Wargamers, uh, welcome back to Wargamer on a Budget, Episode 7. Uh, before we start, as you can see, I've cut my hair already. It's actually about 7 more days to my wedding. Uh, well, by the time that you watch this, I'm probably already at my honeymoon. I'm going to be in Japan and Korea. Um, I'm going to be going for like sort of a family trip slash honeymoon. Um, but I wanted to visit a games workshop in Japan too, see if I can you know, do some uh, blogging while I'm there. Uh, but other than that, most of my wedding preparations are almost done. Um, finally get my hair cut, I'm happy. This is how I usually look. Uh, you know, not that hairstyle anymore because I was just waiting for the um, my hairdresser to come back. But anyway, episode seven. Today is all about saving your old paint. A lot of people uh, don't really pay attention to to, to their paint like they just leave them there like mine my old one I had it for like over seven years and I just kept them there um, I'll show you a couple of them that I can't save anymore as you can see the bottle these are the old bottles these are the ones that I can't save anymore but I'll, I'll, I'll show you what you can use it as later on um, there's a couple of different methods uh, on, on trying to save your old paints and you know how to maintain your paints a lot of people don't actually show you how to do it they just show you how to clean their airbrush and, and whichever you know other equipments your, your brushes uh, before we start as always I would like to thank uh, friends of uh, Voices of Mars friends of Wargamers on a Budget right here and I keep forgetting to thank you guys thank you subscribers for actually watching this I can't believe I actually broke over a thousand views and on my channels already that means at least a thousand of you guys already seen my face it's kind of embarrassing but also exciting at the same time uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not really that, you know, this is the first time I've, I've actually posted something on YouTube um, other than for work before. But anyway, let's get started. Uh, saving your old paints. Uh, what do you do with them? And if you have paint that's almost dying, you know, uh, what we should do with them? Um, there's two different types of paints. Uh, the, the regular paints, regular color, that are usually matte. Uh, the newer base color is a little thicker than the other ones, uh, and then they also have the metallic ones. The metallic ones are a little harder to save. Usually when you haven't done anything to them, um, it's usually too late, it's, it's gone. Uh, but to save the other ones, what I usually do is I actually just open it. You know, you look at the paint first. If it's still kind of creamy, it's not clumpy anymore, you know, the clump of paint is not floating. Um, then it's still savable, but when you see it's just water and then this clump of paint, that means it's usually dead. Uh, try to squeeze with the back of your brush or some type of stick. Try to squeeze it, see if the paint is actually still there or it's just water and oil and then clump of paint. That one, gone. But um, in the example over here, you'll see my uh, Hawk uh, Turquoise that it's, it's still salvageable. Right, so I, what I do is I, I actually put it in um, hot water, try to put it in hot water and a little bit of paint thinner in there, mix it with the back of your brush and just, just keep mixing it and just, you know, just keep mixing it and keep mixing it. And then try to actually brush it on your palette or something or an old miniature that you have. If it's too watery, I mean, don't, don't go overboard with the water start slowly by slowly so you would want to keep the consistency of the paint uh, if you go too far then it becomes a wash and that's also you know you, you basically just ruin your paint um, another different way of doing it is actually just I, I try to put it on a different container I managed to actually try to save a paint by putting it in a microwave for like five seconds or ten seconds so I try to heat it up so that it would kind of the, the clumps of oil will actually kind of disperse a little bit um, again the metallic paints if it's dead it's dead don't try to save it uh, I'll show you a couple of examples uh, later on while we're actually we're talking about this but my main concern of this whole entire video is actually how to maintain your paint so you wouldn't have to save it um, number one is you know don't quit the hobby or just don't put your paint away for a long period of time the reason why you know it start clumping up is because there's no movement within the the paint cans or paint tins. You have to shake it like every I don't know two weeks or a month. Uh, if you try to shake it, you know one by one, if you have like over a hundred paint, it's, it's gonna be a little, a little too difficult. So what I usually do is I actually get one of these um, 
containers. You can put this for cookies or anything. But I got the, the container itself at a Dollar Tree for a dollar. I have actually two of them because I have probably slightly under 100 uh, paint pots. But try to maximize the uses of it. Don't don't put like space. Don't leave spaces around here. Um, what I usually do is I put air, all my paint here and then all the other ones in the other one. And then just every two weeks, I try to shake them like this. Don't do it too hard as long as there's movement uh, inside this. And then that will just swing the paint back and forth and then you can just leave it for another two weeks if you're not using it. Um, so, you know, try to do that. Uh, this is a good investment for a dollar and even if you're done with the hobby, you can still use this for anything else. So that's one good way. Uh, another good way to actually, you know, even if you have a wasted, like an old paint that's already done that you can't save, what I usually do is I actually just put it, reverse it upside down, you have a space over there, put like tacked on it, sticky tack, put it on top of there, stick it really well, and, sorry I wasn't really prepared for this, but, Stick your miniature on it. So when you're painting, you're not touching the miniature because you will leave re uh, oil residues on your miniature and paint will actually chip off. Uh, this is the vampire that I'm working on right now. Uh, it's a Reaper model, but it looks really, really cool. So, you know, when I paint, I usually do this. So this is another good usage of your old paint. Um, a couple of examples. I'm showing you right now uh, the the min the metallic ones. You can see that it's not salvageable because the the metallic dust go go on top of the oil and everything, and you can't salvage it. Uh, I managed to salvage one metallic color, but it was because I didn't leave it for too long, and I guess I kept moving it, so you know the paint isn't as bad. That one is salvageable, but when you see clumps of uh, metallic paint, it's done. Just leave it. Uh, you can empty it out. Use the pot, the empty pots, remove the label, mark it with a different label. Use it to mix your paint. Um, like for example, these ones. I bought these a uh, dollar for a pack of three. I mixed these, pa these paints already and I wanted to keep them for a long time. So, you know, I just keep them there and I can still use it. This is probably about seven months old. Uh, that I mixed and it's still usable it's still working really well um, and you know like I said you can use the uh, the empty pots for that and also for for the for these you can even probably use it for some kind of uh, scenery you could probably put like you know a couple of them together like this for Necromunda or something you know just be creative again like I said my tip is you know trying to salvage everything that you can even for my, um, these are actually, I, I use medicine bottles for how, uh, to, to put my miniature on top of it so I can paint it without actually touching it. So I, I use a lot of household items. I'm, I'm, I guess I'm pretty good with saving up a lot of different bottles and stuff like that. But, you know, to save, to save your paint, you know, try to move your paint around a lot and like at least once every two weeks so it doesn't dry out and one good tip actually to start using palettes don't paint straight from the pot why because you need to thin down your paint anyway uh, when you paint you need to thin down your paint start thin and then just keep building it up so you don't clump up and you don't see marks on the miniature and leave the paint in the palette yes they will dry out pretty quick but if you make a wet palette I'll probably show you guys how to do that later on um, but you know Leaving your paint open, that is one of the worst way to actually use your paint. So as soon as you put some paint out, put it on the palette, add some water to that, close that paint uh, pot because you're actually drying that paint when it's still open. And let's say you go out and you forget that paint is the, the paint pot is still open, you wasted a whole pot and you have to buy another one. And as you know, those pots are really, really expensive. They're like four bucks. So, you know, always keep your, always paint with a palette. That's another tip. It's really, really good tip. Um, you know, save your paint a lot more so you don't have to buy. I'm, I'm planning to use, you know, my pots uh, for quite a long time, at least a year or two. And I don't have to replenish a lot of different colors. Probably I just have to replenish like Chaos Black, 
uh, I don't know the new name right now, I forgot. Ceramet White, that's a new one. I, I really like the new base colors. Uh, they, they The coverage on the miniature is really good. But, you know, um, to summarize it, you know, if, if you want to save your old paint, see if it's clumping up or not. If it's already like a, you know, like a little rock, a peb like a pebble floating in your paint pot, then it's usually done. Use the back of your brush to just stick it, to jam it in there to see if it is salvageable or not. Um, the, the sample videos that I showed you earlier should show you what kind of thing. You can tell like which one is salvageable, which one is not. So make, make sure you know you follow these tips. Again, these are just my opinion on how to save your paints. And don't forget about these containers right here that you can get from Dollar Tree for about a dollar. You know, you use it to shake your, your paint every two weeks so you don't have to shake it one by one. If you have only 10, then yeah, that's no problem. You can just shake it one by one. But again, a dollar for this is a good investment. Um, or the last tip is don't don't ever quit your hobby. So you just keep painting and painting and painting. Uh, find a balance between play, playing and painting at the same time. So, you know, as I as like, like I said in the beginning, I'm probably gone for my honeymoon already right now. I won't be able to reply on comments as fast. I can only put the video go online to public right now. Well, anyways, that is it for episode seven, saving your old paint and maintaining your paint. Um, look forward for episode eight. I'm gonna show you guys on how to create uh, a carrying case that, that I use actually. Uh, like two carrying case for about $20-ish. Um, so that's gonna be on episode eight. I am also recording episode eight before I go on my vacation. So, you know, look forward for that. And this is Mars. I hope to talk to you soon. Later.